Garçon, more red wine, please. See you later, Spanish waiter. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here with a little video for you. Just thought I'd make it because I just read on the Sky Sports website that Real Madrid are axing ref of Benitez, according to Guillem Balague. Anyway, I think I said that correctly. They're Spanish football correspondent. He says it's it's done, basically. The decision has been made. The press conference is taking place as I make this video. Um, and uh, Zinedine Zidane will probably be coming in to take charge of the side until the end of the season. And, uh, you know, Real Madrid, of course, they're behind Atletico. They're behind Barcelona this season. They're sat in third place. I haven't watched too much Spanish football this season. I have seen a couple of the bigger games. Um, when you've got players like Ronaldo in your side, Benzema in your side, you always look pretty tasty. So, you know, but in terms of week in, week out football, I haven't seen what the Real Madrid fans have been seeing. But they've lost a plot with Rafa Benitez already. And uh, their president, Perez, seems to have, have run out of patience as well. And he's willing to make the decision and get rid of Rafa Benitez. To me, Rafa Benitez has been riding on the coattails of his early success at Valencia and also uh, what he did with Liverpool, which to me was more than luck, luck the judgment um, for many, many years. And I've never really rated him that much as a manager anyway. I thought it was a ridiculous job for him to get, quite frankly. Uh, I don't know why they, they got rid of Carlo Ancelotti and the, Ancelotti in the first place, but they did. But Rafa Benitez, the fat Spanish tinker man, he's, it looks like he's no longer gonna, going to be Real Madrid manager. And, and this just makes me think, well, I'm looking at the league table. I see him there a little bit behind Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. Um, and uh, I know, OK, they, they drew last night with Valencia and they had a man sent off and, you know, it was 2-2 two -two away from home. Well, I don't, I'm not sure if it was away from home, but I think it might have been away from home. So, OK, that's not a great result. Valencia, a decent side. They're only a short pace off the lead. It just goes to show you the expectation that that club has. It's like, if you're not going to give us a title every year, you're gone. You know, and that, okay, it's a bit of a carousel. It's a crazy mentality to have in a lot of ways. But at the same time, they're not accepting anything less than what is success. And that, to me, sort of just defines the situation at Man United in the opposite, really, because... There's been many opportunities when the board could have got rid of Louis van Gaal, but they've stuck with him. Looks like they're going to stick with him for the remainder of the season. I hope Manchester United win every game until the end of the season. We win the league. Um, but I'm not so sure that's going to happen. I'm not convinced that's going to happen under Louis van Gaal. Um, and yet the fans, OK, we've been on his back. But he's still here. Whereas Rafa Benitez, you could argue, maybe he's not doing quite as badly as Louis van Gaal. I haven't seen the style of play week in, week out from Real Madrid, of course. But in terms of the table, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm confused over it anyway. I just wanted to make a little video to see what you guys' thoughts are on it. It'd be interesting to see Zinedine Zidane and his first management role, if that is true. Uh, Rafa Benitez, what do you think that means for him? Personally, I think he should go back to working at freaking Vesuvio's or something. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's Italian, actually. He, could go, he, should, he should start working at back at freaking El Gato restaurant or something. Because the lad's not got a freaking clue. Anyway, if he can't get the best out of that side with all that talent in it and play attacking football with Real Madrid, then you're having a mare. His style of play has been criticised. I, like I said, I haven't seen too much of it. But come on, if you're Real Madrid, you, you attack, 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 um, and you, uh, you, you try and win absolutely every single game. He is a, notoriously a tinker man. But to me, he's just a complete muppet. Who sells Javi Alonso? Do you know what I mean? Who does a different that? world over there anyway in Spain because the expectation that Real Madrid have of course is just uh, on another level really I mean the the fans the media are like they're they're criticized in the tactics the displays um, and all that kind of thing the results okay you know they're not too far off the pace but they're not right up there they could perhaps be doing a little bit better but if you were taking into consideration just the league position I don't think that's enough to sack Rafa Benitez but what the board can see what the fans can see what everybody can see evidently which I can't see because I don't really know is that Rafa Benitez's style of play is not conjunctive with the way Real Madrid are supposed to go about their football and be that attacking force now to me that is quite, quite interesting because at Manchester United we've got a similar situation where we've got a man in charge of fans, the majority of the fans and the majority of the media are calling or saying that Manchester United are not playing the brand of football that we've come to expect, the Manchester United way, the attacking football um, and, uh, and just going for it and trying to win games. And we're not doing that yet. We're sticking with Louis van Gaal. He's in a much worse position. Okay, it's a more competitive league, absolutely. But we're sticking with the guy even when it doesn't look like He's, his things are going to get better. To me, it doesn't. OK, we won the other day. To me, it doesn't look like it's going to get much better anytime soon under Louis van Gaal with the way that he's approaching games, the way we're playing football. Even that first half of the Swansea game was gashtastic, right? But Real Madrid, on the other hand, they can see 
But regardless of the league position and the, you know, Valencia result, a couple of bad results, they can see that his style of management is not a right fit for the club. He's not getting the best out of the players for whatever reason. So what they're doing, well, they're making that decision, they're getting rid of him, they're giving somebody else the opportunity. It's a bit of a merry-go-round at Real Madrid. They should have kept stuck with uh, Carlo Ancelotti, in my opinion. But it just goes to show you the contrast in attitudes between the boards in both of those big clubs, Real Madrid, of course, and Manchester United. They're going to get rid of Rafa Benitez, even though, in my opinion, he's not done as badly as Louis van Gaal. In my opinion, he's a much worse manager than Louis van Gaal, um, even though he's won you know, some ridiculous things. But Louis van Gaal's having an absolute double day mare at Manchester United, in my opinion, in terms of where we are in the league and also the way we're playing football and also the future prospect of where we're going to go. Now, I hope I'm wrong. I hope we win the league under Louis van Gaal, but I don't think he's the man to do that for us. So I just wanted to make this video to see what you guys think about it. What do you think about this decision to get rid of Rafa Benitez? Do you think it's a knee-jerk reaction from Perez and Real Madrid? Do you think uh, you know it's justified? And do you think that if that's justified, then why isn't Louis van Gaal being gone a few games ago justified? I know that's not going to happen now. We're flogging a dead always talking about this. The board seemed to have made their decision. If they were going to get rid of him, they got rid of him a few freaking days ago. But it's just interesting, isn't it, to see the, the, the juxtaposition of the two you know, biggest clubs in their respective countries, or, you know, or debatably, whatever. Um, so there we have it. Anyway, I think Real Madrid should have never got Rafa Benitez. I think he's a joke of a manager. He's been riding on the curtails of that Valencia success and the Liverpool success, which wasn't even down to him, really, in my opinion, for, well, you know, for, for, um, for many, many moons. And I think it's about time that he took his rightful place back at Vesuvio's restaurant. So uh, anyway, let me know what you think about it below. Please do get commenting, chuck a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hopefully by the time I finish this video, it would have been confirmed. It's not just com some complete bullshit by that Gwyn and Balag egg bloke, but it could well be. But anyway, this is speculation. Let me know what you guys think about it. What do you think about the LVG situation, Manchester United's board? Please do get commenting. It's an interesting uh, new story that's happened today for Manchester United fans to view upon anyway. So let me know what you guys think about it. Thanks very much for watching. Chuck a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Check out the previous video that was uploaded to the channel, which is the latest episode of Pigcast, uh, chatting more about Manchester United's style of play, Louis van Gaal transfers and stuff like that in the podcast. So have a look at that. It's my previous video, and that's uh, talking to my brother on the phone for about 20 minutes. So if you're bored, gives you something to listen to. But until next time, have yourself a good one. This is Mr. Flying PhD. Take it easy. Na 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 na. Na na na. <laughs>